Well, I'm very concerned about what I see as a soft on crime uh, administration here. If we look at the rise in crime, uh, we see that violent crime is up 26 percent. Aggravated assault is up 34 percent. And uh, homicides up 43 percent. Uh, we have had the highest rise in our murder rate since we began keeping these statistics in 1960. And this is deeply troubling to everyone across this country because it's occurring everywhere. But what's even more troubling is this whole um, uh, attitude that uh, we don't need enough law enforcement, we don't, you know, we have enough law enforcement when we see New York City record resignations, re record uh, retirements, when we see our own in West Virginia, our own WVU police can't hire, our own uh, state police is having difficulty attracting uh, our state troopers. And part of this is because of this soft on crime approach where we're putting our law enforcement in very, very difficult situations and we're also endangering the public. We see here in Washington, D.C., where the D.C. City Council has moved forward to, uh, to put into policy a soft on crime uh, agenda, which is lessening the penalties for carjacking and other very uh, uh, violent crimes. And what does that say to our, our traveling public that's going to be coming up to this beautiful city, that you're not going to be as safe here as you would like to be, as young families are going to be coming through spring break and in through the summer? And so I would say that we need to focus on this issue, and that's what our colleague Bill Haggerty is going to be doing next, uh, after we get back from the break, uh, with a resolution of disapproval. Uh, on the D.C. Uh, Council's decision, but I think it really shines a light on where we're seeing across this country, uh, on the West Coast all the way through to the East Coast, a very um, uh, soft on crime, defund the police agenda that is causing these rise in crime rates.